Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to record a video on your iPad Pro. So first of all, open up settings, then find camera, and then tap on it. So let's first of all configure our recording. So we're going to tap on record video, and you have all of the formats right here. So you can see 720p up until 4K. So I would recommend you to set it to the max, 4K at 60fps. If you do have an older iPad Pro, you may not see the 4K 60fps option. Then you also have show power formats. So if you want to record at the power formats, like you know 25 FPS, uh, you can just tap on the show power formats toggle and then select the format you would like there. Now, if you're recording in low light and you want better low light performance, you can choose it so that the camera app itself will record at a lower FPS while the uh, light is lower. So I uh, can choose here off if you don't want the frame rate to drop at all. We have auto 30 FPS and auto 30 and 60 FPS, up to you what you would like to choose. Now on top of this, you see video format control. I recommend you turn this on because let's say you're about to record a video. Okay, let me just load up the camera app to show you this. Let's say you're about to record a video. You have the video here. And you know what? Okay, I don't want to record at 4K today. I'm going to want to record at a lower quality. You tap on the 4K icon and it'll change from 4K to HD. You tap on the 60 icon. And I just tap on it. Boom. It will change between 30 and 60. So I do recommend you turn this one on. But do keep in mind, Let's say you change uh, the quality from 4K to HD. When you reopen the camera app, it's going to use the quality preset, which you already had inside the settings, OK? So it will not say permanently uh, what you change here. It will only be for the time you open up the camera app. Now, you may notice this ain't right. This is in 4x3, but we're actually going to be recording in 16x9 uh, regardless. So a quick tip, double tap. And just like that, you're actually going to be able to see what you're going to be recording. If you tap once, you're going to have the uh, focus, so it will set the focus to where you'd like. Now, if I just tap again, and I just slide up and down, this will increase the brightness, okay? Boom, increase, lower, just like that. Now, it will save this option until you tap on, uh, you know, the screen to refocus, okay? Another thing as well is if the camera app loses focus while well, you had set it will just reset back to autofocus just keep that in mind now, you can also choose whether or not you want the flash on or off you can't change this while recording the video so make sure you set that before we start recording then we can start recording here once you see the red at the top that means the recording actually started so if you are speaking into the microphone don't start speaking until you see the red at the top and obviously whatever you do boom just like that you can also change the zoom, but obviously you don't have a zoom camera, so it is purely a digital zoom. Once you're done, you can stop the recording. Now, if we tap on this here, you can also record in ultra wide. Okay, so just tap on this button to change to ultra wide. Keep in mind, you can only uh, start a recording in one zoom and you can't change it from there. So let's say I start recording in ultra wide. I can't switch to the regular camera and the vice versa. So let's start the recording here, boom. You do get a bit of zoom options, but keep in mind, it is using your ultra wide camera for the zoom. Now, if you don't have the ultra wide camera option, just keep in mind, you do need the uh, dual camera setup at the back of your iPad Pro. If you don't have that, well then you know, it's not gonna be available. So from here, boom, you can see the videos are recorded. Okay, if you tap on the audio icon, we get audio, and then you can also scrub across here. Boom, so just tap on the video, scrub, and then just like that. I also have edit options, so if you want to cut stuff out, uh, let's say I want to cut a bit of the screen, boom, just like that, rotation, flip, and even distortion as well. We'll tap on the video here, so I want to crop the video, boom, start, end, and you can tap on done. You can save on top of the existing video, you can save as a new clip, and boom, just like that, we cut the video now. Here is the deal. What if you want to share these video files? Well, we need to go back to the camera settings and then format. So by default, it's going to be set to high efficiency. This is uh, great if you want to first of all save file size and you only plan on either using an iPad Pro, an iPhone or a MacBook in order to view the video files. Now, if you upload it to an external site, the external site will convert the video file into a format which you know everyone can see. So don't need to worry about that. But 
If you plan on using, let's say, a Windows computer, you will not be able to view the high efficiency video. If you're planning on using an Android phone to view the video, you will not be able to view the video, okay? So you would need to set this to most compatible. And this, what this will do is it will change the format. As you can see, by default, it uses HEIF slash HEVC, and it will change it to JPEG slash H.264. So this is, quali uh, you, know, uh, you know, less efficient file formats. It's more compatible though. You can run the videos on your Windows computer, same with the Android, but it's going to have a larger file size, so that's just something to keep in mind. One more thing as well, if I just go to the record video, you will notice no HDR options are available. Uh, so if you're thinking about recording, HDR on the iPad Pro, you're out of luck, that is not uh, an option. So with that being said, thanks for watching, see you guys later, bye bye.